Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through how to install an ENB for your Fallout 4 game. So in this video, I'm going to assume two things. I'm going to assume one, you have an EMB picked out that you want to install and you have Mod Organizer 2 downloaded. If you do not have Mod Organizer 2 downloaded, hit the pause button, uh, go to the video that we've already created on this channel, watch it, follow the steps, and then you can come back. The second thing I'm going to assume is that you have a Nexus Mods account. If you do not have a Nexus Mods account, you're going to want to hit the pause button. You're going to want to create a Nexus Mods account. And then once you've done that, you want to come back. You can hit play and then you can follow along. Uh, but with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to the ENB Dev website. So I will put this link in the description so you don't have to search around for it. And then once you're here, you're going to want to, you're going to come up on this page and then you're going to want to go to the latest version. You're going to want to click on it. It's going to bring you to this page right here. Then you're just going to click download. This is download, downloaded. You want to show in folder. And then I have a FO4 ENB file set up on my desktop. You don't have to do that, but it just helps me keep things organized. We're going to want to drag it across and drop it in that folder and then we will use that later you're going to want to go to the nexus mods website go to fallout 4 and this is where you're going to want to go to whatever enb you've decided that you want to run for this video i'm going to run natural and atmospheric Commonwealth. This is one of the most popular uh, weathers and ENBs. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure is you're going to want to make sure you have the appropriate weather downloaded for your ENB. Uh, that's not something we're going to cover in this video, but you just install it just like any other mod. So you'll see I uh, in here I have Natural and Atmospheric Commonwealth Legacy Edition already installed in my mod organizer. Then, uh, you can see that right here. Then you're going to want to go to Natural and Atmospheric Commonwealth ENB. You're going to click Manual Download. Once it's done downloading, you want to go to Show in Folder. And you're going to want to drag and drop this into your FO4 ENB folder if you choose to do what I've done. And exit out of this. Okay, so now you have the ENB binaries, and then you also have your ENB. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to also open up your Fallout 4 directory. I've created a shortcut on my desktop. I would suggest you do the same. And if you have Fallout 4 on Steam, it's going to be in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4. So this is where you're going to need some sort of archive extractor like 7-Zip or WinRAW. If you do not have that, uh, I will leave a link to one in the description. You're going to right click on ENB series. You go to 7-Zip. You're going to go to extract here. Okay, now it's going to put all these files out. So you're going to go to wrapper version. And the only files that you want are the D3, D11 DLL file. And you're going to want the D3D compiler. You can ignore the rest of them. And you're just going to drag it over to your Fallout directory. If you have not done this before, then you will not have this pop up. But if you're updating your EMB binaries, you're just going to want to click replace the files and destination. Okay, so now you have the EMB binaries installed, but now you actually want to install your ENB. So actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a folder inside of this folder just so we don't get uh, confused here. And I'm going to rename this ENB binaries. I'm just going to drag and drop stuff in here. Okay, now that it's nice and neat, you can go to your ENB zip file right click go to 7-zip go to extract here and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy and paste 
or you can just really highlight it and drag all of these over. And then if you have not done this before, you won't get this pop-up. If you have done this before and you're just updating, you're going to want to hit replace the files in this destination. And you have successfully installed an EMB for Fallout 4. So what you want to do to make sure that it's working, you want to go to your Mod Organizer 2. You want to run it through your Fallout 4 script extender um, drop-down. And if you do not have Fallout 4 Script Extender installed, I would highly recommend that you do so. Uh, the link to that video will be uh, in the description. I would follow along and install that. Cl click Run. So if you have that dial or that text in the top left-hand corner, ENB Series 0.455, that means you have installed the ENB correctly. And so if you have that, you are ready to go. You now have an EMB for your Fallout 4 game. An EMB is one of the best ways to improve the graphics of your game, whether it's Skyrim or whether it's Fallout or whether it's Kingdom Come Deliverance or whatever the case may be. So if your machine is able to handle it, I would highly recommend you look into some EMBs and find which one you like. Uh, it is a personal preference. Uh, but find one you like and, and try it out. If you have found this video helpful, uh, hit the like button. If you want to see more tutorials like this, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button. If you need help or have questions, we have a Discord channel, and we would love to see you in there. Uh, that link is in the description. I will see you in the next one.